Thank you. No, 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 wait. This area is a blind spot. Obviously, I'm being framed. Scully, are you hurt? Is that blood? It's glitter. There was a box on Jake's desk. I opened it and it just exploded. I can't feel my face. And not to be rude, but is that something you can normally feel? Oh, right. Uh, I guess I'm fine. Jeffers, evacuate the precinct. I'll contact the bomb squad. No, 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 wait. I think this actually might have been a prank that malfunctioned. Look, the box was connected to a tank of compressed air under the desk. It was supposed to shoot glitter at whoever opened it, but something must have clogged the pressure release valve and the tank exploded. Wow. The silver lining is no one got hurt. And the lead lining is that this prank caused significant property damage in the precinct. Fair point, but we do shatter a lot of glass around here. And either it's Rosa who's disappointed in her BuzzFeed results. I am not a Blanche. Or Charles trying to bro out. Up too fast, dude! Or just Terry gently shutting a window and forgetting how strong he is. And look at this. Evidence was compromised. Oh, no. The shirt from the DeKalb Street murder. That's the only hard evidence we have. ADA Green's already mad we didn't find anything else. Why is this on your desk, Peralta? I logged it out for trial, but... Officer Howard is the one who got it from the evidence locker. Let's blame him. He's always up to no good. What? You don't even know me. Yes, I do. Then what's my last name? I thought it was Howard. It's Booth. My name is Howard Booth. Okay, fine. But just so you know, the only thing I'm gonna remember from this interaction is that you put me on the spot, so. Sir, I know this is important, but I kinda gotta go. Cagney and Lacey's recorder concerts in an hour, and I promise that No one I'll... leaves until the culprit is brought to justice. But they're playing uptown funk! I wouldn't care if they were playing actual music. Whoever did this was obviously someone Peralta pranked seeking revenge. Who are his recent victims? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm the prank master general, and I take that role very seriously. Look at this. There's a note. It says, got your back, babe. It was Amy. Who else would call Jake babe? Charles went through that year-long phase where he called everybody babe. Uh -huh. I forget. Did you guys like that? No. no. I still think it was Amy. Obviously, I'm being framed, probably by whomever keeps accusing me. No one's asking the obvious question. Why did Scully open a package on Peralta's desk? Perhaps he was setting up the prank, and it blew up in his face. Yeah. 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 Scully. No, I just saw a box, and I thought, oh, cookies come in boxes. Well, yeah, yeah, Scully. Yeah. I bet it wasn't anyone in this squad. That's exactly what a guilty person would say. So in order to prove my innocence, I just need to start pointing fingers. Mm -hmm. Fine, it was Amy. Really? Because the babe thing screams you, Charles. Oh, you want to hear screaming? It was Amy! It was Charles! Well, well, well. What do we have here? It appears a crime has been committed and no one will confess. Doing a German accent? I was going for Belgian, like in Murder on the Orient Express. You sound like a Nazi. Okay, not a great note to hear. I'll just use my normal voice. The point is, a crime has been committed and someone in this room did it. There are seven suspects, all with means and motive. It appears what we have is a classic whodunit. The phrase whodunit is a grammatical abomination. Please use the proper term, a who has done this. I will not. However, in order to solve this case, we need the very finest of detectives. One with a unique set of skills. Someone named... Dillman! I'll call Dillman! Who? You're gonna need some help with the who has done this. Squad, meet Detective Frank Dillman of the San Francisco PD. He is in town and we were supposed to have lunch tomorrow, but I asked him to come down because I need an objective set of eyes on this. I can be objective. Then tell me, how do I look today? Normal? No, Dillman. Bloated. Thank you. Dillman is the single best detective I have ever worked with. Sadly, he was unjustly fired for investigating corruption in the NYPD. He hated dirty cops so much they used to call him Mr. Clean. Uh -huh. I'm sure that's the only reason they called him that. Because I'm bald? You think that's funny? I started shaving my head 20 years ago in solidarity with my mother who was undergoing chemotherapy. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm obviously lying. It's classic male pattern baldness. But now, based on your reaction, I know every single thing about you as a person. That can't be true. It is. You're cooked. All right, let's get started. I want written statements from every witness. Personnel files for the entire squad. Of course, I need to have this desk dusted for prints. See if we get a hit on the AFI system. Somebody could maybe get rid of those pigeons. Of course, I'll need to see any surveillance video. Unfortunately, this area is a blind spot. The camera that covers it broke two weeks ago and hasn't been fixed yet. You really don't want me to see that security footage, do you, Lieutenant? 
Hmm. I wonder why. I was just stating the facts. I didn't do anything to the camera. I never thought you did. But now I know every single thing about you as a person. Everyone back off. Dillman has the scene. Man, this sucks. This case would have been the perfect chance for you to prove to Holt that you deserve that task force. Yeah. Maybe it still is. Holt thinks Dillman's the best detective he's ever worked with. So what happens if I solve the case before him? And I become the best detective Holt has ever worked with, and he has to give me the task force. Dillman thinks he knows everything about me as a person, but there's one thing he doesn't know. I'm about to take him down. Oh my god, he's staring right at us. Quick, pretend like I was saying something else. Yes, Jake, you were young when you lost your virginity. Thank you, Charles. 